So, joined by head coach Todd Dutiam after that 3 0 win over the Dundee Stars. And Todd, a, a result that went your way tonight after some hard work. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I think that there's probably been a lot of debate about this team over the last uh, number of weeks. Um, and you know what? I, the coaching staff really pushed them hard and demanded a lot about them the, the entire weekend. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're really looking to carve out a team identity. Um, and, and, and the performances this weekend, uh, I know we're in the results-based business, um, but you have to respect the process. And I thought we played well all weekend. Um, we had to tweak a few things. Uh, obviously, on uh, the penalty kill, um, we... we that was the difference in that game um, on Saturday night. But I thought we played with a lot more fire um, and a lot more grittiness. Um, and, and guys look committed to the, the process. I mean, that, to me, um, was an interesting hockey game to watch tonight. Um, and, and you can tell from the response to the crowd that they enjoyed themselves, not only because we were winning that hockey game. I think at periods there was there was no goals, but there was certainly action in that game. And... and, and the team that they come out to support was was there and working hard and um, that's something that I've always said is the the team that we we certainly strive to put together it doesn't always work out that way but um, that's something that we're going to have to demand out of ourselves moving forward uh, if we want to be successful in this in this league because you can tell um, you, you know the response you get from it and, and, the, and the players certainly did well this weekend. One thing that was apparent, speaking of hard work, obviously a few bodies down, we lost Carlo obviously to suspension tonight, is the, the Brit player certainly stepping up tonight, Chad Smith got his first goal last night, Jordan Buesa, guys like that coming in and, and doing themselves proud in the team. Well, I think it, it's important to recognise that these guys are on the roster for a reason. Um, they, they aren't there just to make up the numbers, although you know, there's a time and place to, to learn your trade out there, or you're learning your craft. Um, rather um, and when I have guys stepping up and playing the way they need to be playing and playing hard and, and skating um, I, I can happily put out a, a player of Chad Smith's caliber out with uh, Joe Basaraba and Dan Goche for example and he can hold his own but it's not very fair to me if the team's not playing well to throw Smitty out there and cast him to the Wolves um, you know, this is where he's going to learn the best of playing with two imports on top of their game. And, and the kid skated well with them. He was doing the little things right. Um, Jordan Boisa played well. Barry McKenzie played well. Um, Craig Moore played well. And, and Chris Wands did as well. So, um, you, you know, they aren't there to make up the numbers. And it's something that, that we've talked about for a long time. And it's important that... The entire team plays as one. I don't like the divide between the two, and they're all capable of being out there. Uh, just on the injury front, obviously, a few bodies down. Can we expect to see any bodies back in the lineup come Monday? I would not feel that that's going to happen. Um, you, you know, one of the things we've done is from Aberte University, we've brought in a couple strength and conditioning coaches. They're working hard with all our young. British players that are fighting to get in the lineup. They're working hard with all our injured guys to get them back in rehab. And they're, they're also working with a guy like, say, Carlo, who's facing a suspension. So uh, that's a huge tool or a huge asset for us to, to use. And, and we're, we're going we're gonna to use it as, as much as we can because, um, you know, we need to continue to push these guys in, in all aspects of their, their, their hockey lives. And just looking ahead to Monday, uh, Glasgow clan on, on New Year's Eve, it doesn't get any bigger than that, certainly for its, as far as games go. Well, I certainly like our chances a lot better if we come out and play with that, that edge that we've had in guys skating. Um, you go through the motions in this league and you get uh, exposed and punished. Um, I, I thought that, um, and as I said, you know, we get judged on wins and losses, but uh, I, I think for this weekend... Um, we played a lot better than I've seen and it's something that we have to build on and something we have to demand out of ourselves. Well, Todd, thank you very much for joining us and uh, good luck on Monday. Thank you. I just have a few...